Hey guys, this is Angel bringing you another video on my high desert garden. This video is gonna be on not on my nasturtiums, rather, it's gonna be on my uh, Carolina Reapers. It's just that I wanted to start this video by showing you the progress of my nasturtiums, but this will be another video, so stay tuned for that. So, Carolina Reapers they grow really good up here in the high desert, but only and only if you grow them in pots any other pepper variety you can grow them in the ground or in into your raised beds but when it comes to carolina reapers listen to me they must be planted in pots if you want to be successful i don't know why i couldn't tell you why i guess it's the, maybe the way this plant was uh, engineered in carolina they mix the uh, the way they cloned it I don't know what it is but uh, if you plant these guys in the ground they will grow and they will produce peppers but for best results this is what works for me every year as you can see pepper plants uh, they don't mind if you plant them together like in this uh, five gallon uh, container I was able to accommodate three of them and that's totally fine. At this point, you have the option of uh, topping the top of the plant. If you want for the plant to be more productive, you can go ahead and, and, and top the uh, and remove the top, and that will encourage more growth uh, from the stem. But this year, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just letting. I'm just gonna let them grow naturally, just 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 like that. But in the past, I have been I have been uh, removing the uh, the top right around and there, and that would encourage more side shoots, and the plant becomes more productive. But you know what? I'm just gonna leave it alone this year because uh, I don't eat that many Carolina Reapers, so I, I really don't care if they produce lots of them or just a few. This is just. Uh, it's a plant that I like to grow year after year. And I do make some salsas with them and they are so delicious. As you can see, uh, yeah, I am a Carolina Reaper lover. So I am growing lots of them. And some of them are the uh, yellow and some of them are the uh, red variety. And as you can see, I have three on this uh, pot, three on this one and two on that little one right there and i'm gonna be planting more because i have more reapers to go around check it out all of those are carolina reapers uh, if you guys live in the area you're more than welcome to stop by and pick up some of those for free i live on in, in the high desert of lancaster california um, on the on the east side on avenue i i'm not too far away from some some of my viewers so if I don't mind giving those away, they're not for sale. You can just come and pick them up. So <clears throat> you can pick them up anytime. These plants have been in this spot for, they are going on five days, I think. Yeah, five days. And look at that. Look at the progress. And once again, they love to be planted in pots, guys. If you want to be successful, do not plant Carolina Reapers in the ground because they will not do very good. Plant them in pots and the uh, soil that I use is the uh, miracle Grow. This is the uh, the one that you would get at uh, Walmart or Lowe's, Home Depot. It's expensive. I bought the uh, the, two, the two cubic, cubic, cubic foot uh, bag for $14. But I don't care. I love Carolina Reapers so I don't mind spending the money. Make sure you get the uh, premium miracle Grow soil. I'm not being sponsored by them, but hey, you know, it is a good product, so why not recommend it? So this is all I have for you guys on the Carolina Reapers. If you have any questions, if you grow Carolina Reapers in this area or wherever you live, please don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. If you have any suggestions, any questions, or if you are, if you are my neighbor, just uh, Leave your comments. I'll be very happy to reply to those comments. I always do. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.